In the previous videos, we focused on how to extract data from the websites. Now, let's see how to crawl a website using scraping. First of all, when I say crawling, I mean the ability of our spiders to jump from one page to another via hyperlinks. By doing so, our spiders can reach many pages and collect the most out of a website. Now, let's get back to our adorable example. This website here lists 10 quotes from famous people per page. If we scroll this page down, we will find the pagination button and when we click it, we go straight to the next page. And the same happens with the next page and so on, until we exhaust the website quotes. Our goal in this video is to build a scrapey spider that extracts all the quotes from this website, from the first to the last page. The data extraction logic remains the same as the one we've created in the previous video. So, we can just improve the code that we already have. But before we dive into the code, let's understand what our spider has to do. After fetching a page, the parse method will first extract the quotes from it, in the same way that it's already doing. After that, it has to find a link to the next page and then create a new request to that link. And this request has to be handled again by the parse method. Here's where we will add the crawling logic into our spider. Alright, now let's see how to find the pagination link with our browser and scrapey shell. Right click on the button and inspect. Here we can see that the pagination button is represented by a list item with the class next and inside of it we have an anchor element with the actual link. Now let's go to the scrapey shell and see how we can extract this link from this page. So let's build our selector. We are looking for all the list items with the class next. As you may remember, here is how the pagination button is structured. So as a response, we got the whole list item object. However, if you look in the page, the actual link is inside an anchor element. So let's try to extract it using the selector here. Okay, now let's extract the string from this selector object using the extract first method. And here you have the a element. But we only want the href attribute. To do that, we can use another pseudo selector called double column HTTR and we pass to it as a parameter the name of the attribute that we want to get. In this case, it's href. However, this is a relative URL and we actually need the absolute URL. So I will show a handy method that we can use to generate the absolute URL. It's called URL join. It joins the base URL from the response with the URL that we pass as a parameter. So here we have the actual and correct URL. Now let's add to the spider the code that finds the link. So we copy it from here and paste in our text editor. This line just gets the relative URL, but we want to get the absolute one. So we are going to use response.url join as I shown before. After our spider finds the link to the next page, it has to create a new request. In addition to generating dictionaries with the scraped data, the callback method can also generate new requests. Here's how we do it. We have to yield a new request object for the URL that we just found. So this is the first parameter. The second parameter is the callback the method that is going to handle the response to this request. In this case, it's going to be the same method, the parse one. Here's what's going to happen. For every page, the parse method will extract the data, extracting the quotes from, from the page. After this, it's going to find the URL to the next page and then create a request for this new page. And this process will repeat until there are no more quotes in this website. So we have to add a verification here to make sure our spider stops when there is no next page anymore. 
and we can do it by checking the next page URL variable. OK, now let's run our spider and see the results. OK, the execution is done. Now we can see here that our spider extracted 100 items, which makes sense because there are 10 pages with 10 quotes each. And we can also see that our spider made 10 requests. All right, now that our spiders are far more powerful than before, it's time to practice this by yourself. In the next video, we'll dive a bit more on link crawling. See you there.